everyone, I am Karen Joseph with 7 Networking and also Fab right now. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Scott Ad, tell me your name please. Carol E. Chapman, welcome, welcome. I think this is the first time you've been on my scope. I am Karen Joseph, nice to meet you. Hello to all the replay viewers as well, live viewers, web viewers. Hey Carol, do you have a business? Tell us what it is. Reed, how are you? And Michelle, how are you doing? You said you had a busy day today, but <laughs> time to hop on Periscope. What about doing your own scopes, honey bunny? <laughs> I'm going to get you to do it one way or another. Right, Michelle? <laughs> how you doing, Reed? Hope everyone is having a wonderful, terrific Thursday. I'm going to flip this around so we can get started. Hey, Tame, how are you doing? For those hearts, if you tap at the screen, you will also see dreidels today. Oh, my hair is sticking up. Looks crazy. <laughs> you promise. Okay, good. As long as you promise, I'm going to hold you to that promise. American Serenade. Coffee, tea, and wine, and paparazzi. $5 jewelry. Love it. I have lipstick on my tea. Very authentic for Periscope. <laughs> You really get to see people like they are. Hello, Brandon. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Carol, have you been scoping yet? With all your wines and your teas and all that other fun stuff? Now it's serious? Okay, I got the promise. Okay, what day, Michelle? Is it going to be like Sunday, Monday? Pick a day. Once or twice. Okay, good. Well, you got to start somewhere, right? Well, I am Karen Joseph. For those of you who don't know me, I am the proud founder and owner of Seven Networking, which is a business organization, networking organization for entrepreneurs, like many of you are. Okay, Sunday, the late, Sunday would be good. Sunday's good. I'll be around, honey. You let me know. Oh, Reed's heading into Staples. What you What are you buying there, Reed? Love Staples. Always great for Sharpies. I love all my Sharpies and all my... My little markers here that I keep on my desk. Can't have a business without Sharpies, right? <laughs> In all different colors. Ink. Okay, ink's important. Hey, Portia, how are you doing? And Lucille, how are you? Welcome, welcome. We are going to talk today. Now, be, be nice, guys. Think clean. We're going to talk about every entrepreneur, small business owner's favorite F word. I know you. Hey, family, yes. Perry family. Be kind, Lucille. Reed knows what my favorite F word is, right? Reed, you still there with us? Nope, it's not failure, not finances. Who knows what it is? That's right, everyone behave now. Think clean. I'm a good girl, never curse. <laughs> Reed, Reed is back. Fasting? Nope. It's kind of like two, it's kind of like an F U. Fun too. <laughs> Good one. It is a follow up. You guys, follow up. Yes, Portia, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is follow up. Are you guys, do you guys have a system in place for doing your follow up? Anyone have a great system that works that you guys want to share with us? Because we're going to talk, oh, the F you threw you off. <laughs> CRM. Do you use a CRM, Lucille? That's fabulous. I wish I did. I have one set up, but I don't use it all the time. Need to work on that. Yes, we all need to work, I think, on our follow-up. It's hard. Hello, Deb Coleman. How are you doing? Good for us ADH girls. Exactly. We need to have a system in place for the follow-up. So if you have a CRM that you're using, Deb, you probably use a CRM for your follow-up because I picture you to be on top of things all the time. Hello, Dr. Z Hashem. You have a process email con connect on LinkedIn. Oh, Tame. Fat See, I knew Deb would have one. You have one that incorporates email messages. Cool. I'm not as organized as you guys. I would have to admit. Less annoying CRM. I have Zoho set up. My husband has it set up for me on my computer, but I rarely use it. He knows it too, but I'll just say it quietly because he just walked into the house. So anyhow... Let's talk about follow-up, all right? We all have to do it if we have a business. We want to keep those relationships going with our customers. Nimble. Hmm, I will have to look into that. I'm still learning the scheduled part. Mm-hmm. That's one of my goals for 2016 is to get everything in my life organized, and follow-up is one of them. 
But let's talk about follow-up. We have to be consistent with the follow-up, right? And it's not just, it can't just, hey, Jonathan, I believe it can't just be following up once with a person after you meet them. You know, even, oh, no, 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 not me, Deb. I don't think I've ever said a curse word maybe once in my entire life. <laughs> hey, Latona, how are you doing? I am like a goody, 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 right? My kids, I tell them, I go, I never did anything bad when I was younger, so I don't expect you guys to do anything bad either. Nope, more than once with you, Tame. Okay, all right. Laura Reich, hello, hello. There's my wonderful virtual assistant. She's going to help me get organized, I hope. <laughs> All right, I'll remind you, Lucille. Hey, hey, Laura, we're talking about my, my favorite F word for entrepreneurs. It is a follow-up. Laura Reich, Laura Reich is organized. Let me tell you, she is on things. When I ask her to do things for me, be it social media, web design, she's on it. Well, you know what, Deb? I wing it a lot. That's the problem. I'm a winger. And I always get things done, and I always manage to follow up with people, but a lot of the stuff I keep up here in my head, and the more stuff you put in there, and the older we get, you know what happens? Ah, oh, I'm afraid it's all going to go out the door, and I'm going to miss something really important. <laughs> like, who knows what, right? You guys are guilty of that, too. So, follow up. Let's talk about it. You guys have some good systems in place. Good system. So it feels good when I when get written down. I know. I try to write stuff down, but like I work out in my kitchen. This is my office and I don't have a lot of space and it's just, I mean, I know, no excuses. Forget it. The brain will fail us after a while. Exactly. As I get older and grayer, I know that things are going to start flying out of this brain and who knows what is going to happen. So I would like to trick everyone in thinking I'm organized. People think I'm very organized, which is funny. Just doing 2016 planning now. Yep, you have CC cookies in the oven. Oh, gluten-free. Yum, yum, yum. An excuse is a reason to play small. I know. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk about follow-up. I have some tips here, just some certain things that I jotted down. Um, one thing is to spread out your contacts. You know, you have to make, you have to touch the people, right? Your brain does another F word, read, forget that, go buy your ink. We're not talking about that today. <laughs> not with me. <laughs> so spread out the contacts. So sometimes you want to, you know, you want to touch people by an email. Maybe it's an, a personalized email to them. Maybe it's a newsletter. Okay, goodbye. You catch the replay, Michelle. Yeah, I know you're nannying today. There's Reed. He was so excited that he won your um, your giveaway the other day, Deb. He is. He is so. And he won something yesterday, too. I can't remember what. Oh, someone else, Sabrina, did a giveaway, and he won a, a banner. Reed is just raking it in these days, that lucky guy. Um, so spread out your contacts. So maybe you want to touch them in different ways. He is. He's a good guy. He's. We meet the, we meet the greatest people here on Periscope. I am just... So thrilled about this community that we're all forming here together. It's super, super special and super neat. So yeah, so spread them out. You know, little ticklers. Maybe it's a phone call. Maybe it's an email you send. Maybe it's asking them if they want to get added to your newsletter. That's follow-up, right? It's to remember you're always going to be there. You know, 7 Networking is not going out of business. Fab right now is just starting up. Set up a system. Exactly. Set up a system and follow it. And make sure that you train your clients and your customers to know that you're going to follow up. Let them know that you will be following up. And when I say you, you are the one that should be doing it. Don't count on your clients to follow up with you. You know that that's not going to happen. If it's your business, you're the one that should be following up with them. You're the one that should be reaching out to them, right? We can't rely on others. It's just not going to happen. People are too, too, too busy. Yes, even simple follow-up works. Never, that's right, never count on them. Do you have a CRM system, Jonathan? Good for you. And make sure you let them know that, you know, each contact you make, tell them, I'm going to contact you again in six months and set up that date. If it's a face-to-face -face meeting, then write it down right when you're there with the person, right? Or I'm going to contact you in, in a week. Let's pick a date right now. Give them a time when you will follow up and commit. Exactly. You can't keep your commitment. Let them know. Exactly. Exactly. And, oh, you use team leader. Cool, Jonathan. I'll have to look into that one. So, yeah. So let them know when you're with them. Pull your calendar out and make 
Oh, bye, <laughs> bye, Laura. Brad is the web designer for uh, who works with Laura, and he's he's working on my website now for Fab right now. I'm so excited. Belgium startup. Oh, very cool, 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 cool. So yeah, so let people know. You know, take those calendars out, make the next uh, next appointment, the next plan, or if it's going to be an email, tell them I'm going to follow up with you on Tuesday. You'll expect an email from me, and don't let them down. Right? Don't overpromise and underdeliver. That always makes us think yucky about people. I hate to use the word yucky, but people that are promising things and they don't come through. If you're gonna call, if you tell someone you're gonna call them on Tuesday at one o'clock, you call them on Tuesday at one o'clock. Hello, Polly Duck Seven. How are you doing? Another way to build the relationships and keep those um, the follow up is invite them to a group that you go to. Maybe it's a networking group. Maybe it's the Rotary. But seeing the people, you know, week to week um, in front of you, it's a great way to follow up and start building those relationships, right? So you guys had some fabulous, fabulous ways. Any other ways that you guys do follow up besides, um, you know, scheduling them to your CRM, emails, newsletters, phone calls? Does anyone follow up with texts? Hello, Teresa. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Shanger 308. Hey, how's everything going with the dogs? Do you do texts for follow-ups? I mean, I guess you could. They seem not as professional to me. Twitter DMs. Yes, 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 yes. Those do work great too. I'm loving Twitter. I was never a Twitter fan until Periscope came out. I have to tell you, I had a Twitter account. I had to take it out, dust it off, and learn how to use Twitter. I never understood Twitter. And now that I'm using it, it's so easy. I know, right? Periscope and Twitter, hand in hand. It really it really does work. It's great for um, connecting on a professional level. Let them know you're thinking of them text. Oh, okay. That's great. Like a quick little text, you know? Tell me, well, you're the social media expert, honey. I'm just a connector, promoter, you know, help you with anything you guys need help with kind of person. I am not the techie person. Not at all. You follow up with newsletters, texting, and emailing. Great. What kind of response do you guys get from, um, do you feel like you get a better response when you use um, newsletters or texting or emails? I mean, texting people seem to do answer back, you know, right away because um, it's quick. They can just, they get it on their phone. <laughs> just, I don't think so. Deb, you are so sweet. Um, but what kind of response do you guys get? Do you find you get a better response if you text? Do you get a better response if you send an email? Um, newsletters? I see that um, you can use Jot Form to generate leads. I'm going to write that down, Jonathan, and look that up. Yeah, Twitter gets good response. Facebook Messenger response is good too. I love Facebook Messenger because you can see when people actually, you know, view your message. You get an excellent response when I ask what kinds of connections do they need. Exactly. Make it make it about them. Yes, the dreidels. <laughs> you noticed. Yeah, tap, tap, tap at your screen. You'll see all those dreidels. It's Hanukkah. Um, so yeah, I love Facebook because you know you can see. When people, I'm writing that down. What was it called? Jot form? I have to look that one up, Jonathan. That's why I love our um, our periscopes because we're all interacting, sharing ideas. Me too, I've used other people's automated tweet for many years. Dust, yep, dust off the Twitter feed. Twitter is, is booming now because of Periscope. I mean, so many people I talk to say they are using Twitter now because they're on Periscope. Hey, Keisha, how are you today, honey? Are you still at work? Are you sneaking in on a little break, a little Periscope break? Yes, dive into Twitter. How else do you guys, I'm just going off on a tangent now, but, you know, besides retweeting other people's tweets and sending messages and commenting, I know you're at work. <laughs> How else can you use Twitter? What else do you use Twitter for? With Twitter, I get text message when someone, yes, chats with me. And does that have to be, just because I'm fairly new to Twitter, you have to be following that person and they have to be following you. Is that correct for you to send them a DM? Follow the links, they tweet and comment. Okay, good. I do that. And email so you don't forget. Good. Twitter as a customer service. Fabulous. You guys are also helpful. For DM, I'm talking just tweets. 
not if they're, oh, I did not know that. I want to get a blab or Skype with you about tech stuff. Not me. <laughs> I'm not techie. <laughs> we can Skype. <laughs> you can, I, I'll pick your brain, sir. <laughs> but I can't talk about tech stuff. You can set your DMs to be open. Okay. Yes, my husband, that was one of the, yes, I do want to connect with you, Reed. Send me your number. Can we talk on the phone, like old-fashioned, like actually pick up a phone and talk, or does it have to be Skype? <laughs> you can Skype if you want. Um, yes, my husband is a computer guy, so that's one of the reasons why I married him, I say, because he can help me with all the tech stuff. <laughs> no talking to other men. Oh, Karen, you should be hosting a Blab. I have not been on Blab once. I don't even... I don't even know where to start on Blab, Deb. But um, unless your hubs is in the room, <laughs> he doesn't care what I do. He's happy if I'm just busy and happy and productive and out of his hair, <laughs> which is the truth. Oh, I'm ready to try Blab. I'm ready to do anything, right? Um, so, yeah, so follow up. So, you guys, you still prefer Periscope? I think. Blab seems like a lot of people just talking at once, so I think um, it might be too much. You know, I'm pretty loud, and if you get together with other loud people, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to check it out. Sometimes it seems like that, yeah. Uh, but I like the whole sharing of ideas, because I'm big into all of us, you know, supporting each other, sharing ideas, because we all know things that other people don't know. And I love that. And that's what we do at our, you know, seven networking meetings. I call it peer-to-peer -peer learning. Um, I am huge into that. So that might be real interesting for, um, for Blab. B would be, oh, Blab would be good for your seven meetings. Hmm, interesting. It's indeed blah, 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 blah. All right, friends, I have to go now. I'm headed off to see my mama, which is always, always an adventure. And then I'm going to the bank, so I will see you all later today. We do have our holiday giveaway tonight. I do a promote. You'll get those cookies out of the oven. See you later. Promote your scope every evening, 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. No, You know what, Deb? I'm glad that you guys come in here and hijack everything. That's what I want. I want my scopes to be about you guys and what you guys want to talk about. And I think you probably... <laughs> Love the F you I think you probably know that from teaching. If the kids want to talk about something else or learn about something else, you just got to go with it, right? Um, that's what it's about. Yesterday, I don't know what I was talking about. I was doing a scope. Everyone started talking about business cards. I'm like, great. So we started talking about business cards. That's what they were interested in. Yes, a teachable moment. I call it let's seize the moment, right? So you betcha. But 6.30 p.m. Pacific, every evening I do a Promote Your Scope. We're doing some holiday giveaways tonight right after that. We have some great holiday give giveaways. Lisa Villar with Pampered Chef is doing a holiday giveaway. And then Maria Turchi with um, Young Living Essential Oils. So I got to write those hashtags and, um, and handles down. Bye, honey. Thanks for coming on so you guys can um, follow them both later. But it's Lisa Villar, Pampered Chef, and Maria Tucci. Have a great day, LaDawn. LaDawn, are you scoping yet? I think I always ask you that, but I don't I don't know if I've watched any of your scopes yet. I will check it out, honey. All right, friends, make it a great one. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Nope, not yet. Why not? We need to talk, LaDawn. You need to start. All right? Okay? Call me if you want. I will walk you through it. I will help you. It is super duper easy. Just press that button and just talk like you're talking to your friend. All right. See you later. We got to get you up. We got to get you doing it.